Wow. Oh. Mm -mm. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, crank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click back. What's up, y'all? It's Steph, and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, y'all, I decided I'm gonna be eating my favorite color food today, which is green for now. <laughs> okay? Check out my cooking intro, and then I'll get back to tasting all these delicious green foods, y'all. Are y'all ready? I am. Let's get into the video. So in this skillet, guys, I've added some onion, garlic. I'm gonna add some spinach, which I'm gonna puree eventually and try to make it into a green pasta sauce. Little Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. So I'm gonna saute this for a few minutes. And then we'll come back and puree it in the food processor. Alright guys, so into my processor I'm going to add my spinach, onions, and garlic mixture. And then a little chicken broth to help it process. So I'm going to start working on my spinach artichoke cream sauce, you guys. I have some butter in here melting. I'm going to add some half and half. A little bit of chicken stock, Italian seasoning, and add my spinach puree. This stuff is bomb, y'all. Oh my god, I'm trying to think of other things I can use it for now. It's so good. Add some pink salt, lemon juice, pepper. Definitely green, guys. Now I'm gonna add in some Parmesan cheese. And I'm gonna add in my drained artichoke. Now this, I would say, make sure you t try it out before you add this into your stuff because it's definitely an acquired taste, especially the ones that are in the jar, you guys. Okay, because they're kind of tangy, but I like the tang, so I'm gonna add that in. And I'm gonna let this Simmer. So here I've been marinating some tofu. This is olive oil, mustard, lemon juice, Italian seasoning, and I did put a couple drops of um, food coloring in just to make it green. So I don't know if that's going to hold up after I cook it, if the color is still going to be green or not, but hey, we tried. This marinade is really good. I've never tried this before. Well, again, something new, so I will let you guys know if I like it when we get into the video. All right, let's cook it up. So in my skillet, I have olive oil, butter, and I'm gonna add some garlic slices. And I'm gonna remove my garlic before it burns and add in the tofu. All right, let's flip them over. Hopefully they're nice and brown. I like the color that's gotten on there. I mean, it's brown, but salt it nicely. Add a little bit more of the green sauce. Over here, I'm gonna add in my pasta. I'm gonna let this cook for a little while. Hopefully, it soaks into the pasta. A little bit more. I'm gonna add a little fresh basil. All right, guys. So here's my salad. I have the butter lettuce, avocado, edamame. I got some broccoli, cucumber, cilantro, green onion. Got a little lime there, and of course we're gonna top that with the cilantro lime, 
dressing from Primal Kitchen. I have no idea how this tastes, you guys, but we're gonna try it today. Here's my key lime pie with my pistachio ice cream. You can't really see the green of the key lime pie yet, but once I cut it open, you you guys will see it on the mukbang. So here's the final product, my green feast that I will be mukbanging. We got the green Italian marinated tofu, the salad with everything green in it. We have the creamy spinach artichoke pasta. I got my favorite green drink, Mountain Dew, and then my dessert here, which is the ice, the pistachio ice cream and key lime pie. All right, y'all, let's get it. So you guys just saw how I made all these delicious dishes. I don't even know if they're good yet though, because I this is I've never made this before, never made this before. This is just a salad, but I've never had this dressing before. So all this stuff is pretty much new, y'all. So I'm gonna let y'all know what I think about it, and I'm going to be very honest, okay? So right now, my favorite color is green, you guys. I don't know why I like to skip and hop from color to color, okay? It was yellow three months ago. Anyway, so today, I'm going to uh, be eating all my favorite color foods, which is green foods, okay? I'm, I'm glad that green is my favorite color now, you guys, because for one, I'm trying to eat healthier, and two, there's a lot of green stuff you can buy, okay? I hope this is good, you guys, because this will definitely be a rotation if this is good. I really want to try this. They're a little bit nervous. We can, I'm going to jump right into this tofu. So this was um, an Italian marinated tofu. I did add only a couple drops of uh, food coloring to this just to make it green for you guys <laughs> for my green video. But I would, would do that regularly. But let's see how it tastes. And I do have some uh, sauteed garlic on top. That's what you see there. Let me try it without the garlic first. Mm. Wow. Okay. Mmm. That is very flavorful, you guys. So the recipe said to marinate it in the sauce for at least 30 minutes but preferably overnight i was able, only able to do four hours so i'm thinking oh my god overnight mm. it's very tangy if you don't like tang you won't like it this is lemon juice mustard very tangy things that is delicious with um italian italian seasoning mm. i really like that Okay. I wasn't sure if I was going to like that, y'all. I ain't going to lie. This is good. And I've never, ever sauteed tofu before. So if you guys have any other recipes, like, like other marinades I can use to saute tofu, please let me know. I'm trying to wean myself off of meat a little bit. As much as I can. I'm still going to be eating meat, y'all. Until further notice. Hmm. Okay. Oh. This is really good. I almost want to throw this in my salad. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. -hmm. Got my favorite Mountain Dew. Which I don't need to be drinking at 5 o'clock at night because I don't need to be up all night long, y'all. Okay, so we're going to try this um, salad. I have, I told you all what I had in the intro in the salad. We're going to try this new dressing that I got. It's by Primal Kitchen. It's an avocado oil based cilantro lime dressing. Okay. Whew. Now I'm I'm not big on bottled dressings. I like to put, uh, make my own, you guys. But I don't know how to make no green dressing. So I was like, let me just buy this. Hopefully it's good. It smells pretty good. Oh ah. Smells pretty good. I do see that it's very like water runny. And I tend to like thicker salt uh, dressings, so that could be something, but let's see. Mm. That's not bad. I feel like I want more dressing though. Mm. So y'all, I'm home alone right now, but I was like, let me get a video in. I ain't got no topic. Well, I was trying to do a viewer topic, but I didn't have time to look it up. But I did think about a topic that I wanted to talk about. Just 
because I was watching something and there was a celebrity who whose partner got ch caught cheating like in public and then it spread and I was thinking does that make cheating worse you guys? Do you think by it being publicized or even if your family just knows about it does that make it worse than if you just found out hmm Ooh. I feel like in a way it does I mean it's still bad and I still would want to leave the person but just like that embarrassment seems like a lot I feel like damn if you gonna cheat and damn especially if you're a celebrity we gonna cheat. Don't be out holding hands with the person kissing at the restaurant. Damn. Like how disrespectful can you be? It's not good. <laughs> I wanna move on this, but the salad is actually really, really good, y'all. So try this out if you into somewhat healthy stuff. I'm trying to get this edamame. Mmm. All right. Let me try my pasta. Now, when I tasted just the sauce by itself, very good. So, if I love this, y'all, I promise I'm going to put the recipe in the description below. Okay? Because I know a lot of y'all may be interested in some meatless options. Alrighty, here we go. It kind of thickened up because I had to get dressed. So, it's not really as creamy as you probably will get it when you make it for yourself. Mmm. Y'all? Oh my god. I wish Tasha was here. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. That's kind of bomb, y'all. Mmm. 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 Wow. I'm trying to figure out why uh, why it tastes almost like it has meat in it. Maybe the chicken broth? I don't know what it is. This is really good. Mm. Be careful with adding the artichoke, like I said, because those canned ones do have an interesting flavor, which I really like, but Tasha looked like she wanted to gag when I gave her one, so be careful with those. But honestly, in this pasta, I don't even taste that flavor. Mmm. It's like it, it was cooked out or something. This is really good. Really, really good. The only thing I'm going to have a hard time with giving you guys is the salt measurement because I kept adding it. So just keep adding it so it, it feels right. Mmm. Oh, that's good. This is really, really good. I cannot wait to taste this. Taste this. So, the green sauce came from the sauteing of the spinach, and then I just mixed that into the cream sauce. So, I didn't even have to add any food colors to this, you guys. So, about my topic, I was going to say, I remember when I was a little bit younger, I was out at a restaurant, and I happened to see one of my friend's mom's husband. It wasn't her father. It was just her, you know, her stepdad. I saw him at a restaurant, you guys, with a lady. And, you know, at first I was like, oh, you know, I didn't think anything crazy. But I did notice they were sitting, like, instead of being across from each other, they were, like, side by, like, sitting right here. You know what I mean? So that was kind of strange. But then, um, like, at, during the time that I was there, I glanced over and noticed, like, them holding hands. They did a little peck. So it obviously was not, like, a business partner. Or some platonic friendship. I was so uncomfortable. He never noticed me. But I was like. I kind of struggled for a while. With do I tell. Should I tell my friend. Do I tell her mom. During this time. Like cell phone pictures and all that weren't. That wasn't a popular thing. So it's not like I could take a picture and be like. 
y'all take it from here. You know what I'm saying? It would just be like my word against the guy's word, you know? So, I don't know. I ended up not saying nothing. But do you think I'm wrong? I mean, obviously if that was like my friend or like family member, I would have said something. But I just felt like because it wasn't my family like that. And it wasn't like my friend's boyfriend. It was her damn father. It was just too much. I was like, I ain't saying shit. I'm going to say nothing. Would y'all have told? I saw your stepdad at a restaurant kissing on another woman. I just feel like it will start up a bunch of bullshit. The girl ain't, lady don't even have no proof of it except like, I'm saying something. Mm mm. I was like, let her figure that shit out somewhere. No other kind of way. Well, let me know if you guys have experienced something like that. And did you tell? Very curious. Now, what I want somebody to tell. It's a different story, of course. Of course, you want somebody to tell. If it's your person at the restaurant. Now it's easier. That's why y'all need to be careful. Brother. All y'all cheaters out there need to be really careful. Because with all these damn cell phone pictures and Instagram posts, the show has to be on the prime time internet news. Cheating on somebody in public. Some of y'all don't care. Anyway, y'all. This was a severe success. Oh, my dessert. Up there. Got my mom's up. I want to finish eating this. Mm. Very good. Alright, y'all. I got my dessert. Also have real silverware for all the concerned viewers who always question why we always use plastic. It's because the silverware makes too much noise with this and like it irritates some people's ears. So we prefer to use either wood or plastic forks and stuff. Alright, so brought this knife over here so y'all can actually see the green in this key lime I have key lime pie and pistachio um ice cream well what I'm looking at is not green at all guys this is they lied in the picture they lied there's no green in here it's so white on the camera too y'all can't see nothing but you're not missing nothing it ain't green in person either all right let's try this is Marie calendars guys Let's see how it tastes. I don't know key lime pie like that, so we're just gonna see if I like it. Like I'm not real sure how it's supposed to taste. To me, this tastes like tastes like it was really good when it was fresh, but it's like I can taste the the storage, you know what I mean? The storage taste of it being frozen. But it's not bad. I would love to try one from the restaurant that was fresh though. It would probably be very good. All right, now pistachio ice cream, y'all. I love pistachios. Do I think it's gonna be good in ice cream form? But well, we're going to try it anyway because this is all green foods. This is what today is about. Who out there loves pistachio ice cream? Oh. Mm-mm. Woo-hoo. Oh, no. That's not for me. Oh. What is this? How you going to have pistachio and then put almonds in it? This is pistachio on. Oh, I do not like that. I don't like that at all, you guys. Oh, I thought I was gonna like it a little bit, but that's not good. <laughs> I'm trying, there's like a what is that flavor? What's in this? I don't know. There's some flavor in this that I hate. But I can't tell what it is. Anyway, y'all, overall, my green food was a success. Tasha says she's going to be doing her favorite color food soon. So, we'll see how hers turns out. If y'all want us to do any other colors, let me know. And give me some, some recipe ideas as well. Alright, 
If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, let us know what you guys think. Please subscribe to the vlog channel. Link is in the description below. Make sure you set your post notifications to all so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. And until next time, only your vibes.